welcome back and happy new year. I simply love the start of the school year. Why? You know, I've been reflecting on that and I realize it's because of the vast possibilities that lay ahead. The possibilities of what I can influence, the possibilities of relationships that will be nurtured and sustained, the possibilities of greatness in each child, and the possibilities within each one of you. Every time I visit a school, I'm reminded of the greatness that exists in these spaces. The dedication and perseverance you show to achieve excellence for the children and families you serve. The dedication you have to your craft, regardless of the official title. I see and I feel the love and commitment. And I know the work has changed over the years. I know we are expected to do more with less. No one understands the work of educators and the sheer joy you bring to the lives of children each and every day. Rest assured, I do. I will never forget the hard work, time, and perseverance it took me to educate the children I served. And 30 years, 31 years later, I know it is still the best profession in the world, hands down. So as you prepare to open your doors, learn all the names of your scholars, meet their caregivers, and dig into the daily work, I want you to know that you are seen. We see the possibility you bring each day. We see the smiles, the high fives, the dedication. We see your possibilities. So look in the mirror each day and remind yourself that you are the possibility to make a positive impact on a child today. Education is the possibility. It is our moral calling. And you're not alone in that calling. You have a tribe who will be with you all the time to support you. You inspire me daily. Grab those possibilities and have an amazing school year. Welcome back, EAW members and potential members, and welcome home to our Doherty membership in, in their brand new building. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I'm Melissa Verdier. I am the EAW president. I'm going on my third year. Uh, I would like to say I hope that you all had a restful and relaxing summer and that you followed your sunglasses and you rested, relaxed, and repeated as long as you could. Um, I hope that you came back rejuvenated and ready to bring the excitement that you bring to your classroom regularly to your students. Um, they deserve the very best and I know that you'll all provide that. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for, for you to get involved. I think it's really important to be um, an involved member of this union. It's how we get our work done. We didn't get the contract we got because people sat back and let everyone else do the work. We got the contract because you all put in the work. So I ask you, please think about ways that you could get involved. We have delegates at every school and every work site, and you get those delegates by the number of, mem uh, by the number of potential members you have in the building and the number of members. So I say, please become a delegate, be that conduit of information that we're looking for. Be the person that brings the information to the EAW and brings information back to those, of, those colleagues in your school. Or think about joining a committee. We have a lot of committees. I would really like to see them get to be robust working committees and we need you for that. So these are some things that you can think about. We are here for you, whatever those needs may be. I do feel this might be a little bit of a, of a concerning year with some of the cuts that were made and we are all learning together and going through this together and we're here for you. So if you need us, you reach out. The AW office is at 397 Grove Street. The phone number is always listed in your weekly heartbeat, uh, but it is 508-791-3296. And I say to you, please make sure you have an up-to-date email with the EAW. We send out the weekly heartbeat on Sundays at 11 a.m. It's gonna tell you all the upcoming events and everything that we're working towards. Um, the last thing I wanna mention is that MTA has fought their battle and they got to the MCAS ballot question on the ballot. It will be number two. The difference is, in years past we said no on two when we were talking about charter schools. Now we're saying yes on two. Fight MCAS. 
this is a very detrimental thing to a lot of our students and it can also be something that causes harmful thoughts for our educators because we're so concerned to see students do well that we lose focus on what's truly important and that's making sure that all of our students feel welcomed and accepted and are getting the best education possible. So again, I welcome you back. Um, have a wonderful first day or second day if you're seeing this on day two. And whatever you need, please don't hesitate to reach out. We are here for you. Thank you. Have a great day.